One of the biggest myths about identity is that humans are predisposed for a type of tribalism, where we join a group and we automatically discriminate against other groups. And it's easy to see that when we look around in the world. My name is Jay Van Bavel. I'm the director of the Social Identity and Morality Lab at New York University and an associate professor of psychology and neuroscience. Identity is the basic sense that we share something in common with a group and that it gives us a connection to something bigger than ourselves that we care about. And that fundamentally shifts how we act in the world, how we think about ourselves and what motivates us. We have a recent project in my lab where we analyzed how teams of individuals become successful. And what we found is that when people share an identity that they're working together for a common purpose as opposed to just a bunch of individuals all working in a group but for their own goals. It's only when they share that sense of team identity and common purpose that they outperform a group of individuals. In fact, they become smarter and more likely to cooperate than a group of individuals. And what we also found is that when we measured their brain activity, it was when groups were working together and their brains were patterned in the same way and so they were literally on the same wavelength that we saw the greatest benefits of their collective intelligence. What the research shows in my lab and many others is that identities can also be used to divide us. And so if you activate a sense of competition between two groups or uh, make salient uh, something that they have that's in contrast with one another, people are motivated to divide themselves and oppose other people. And that can foster discrimination, uh, partisan animosity and hatred. One of the trends in my research has been trying to understand what divides Americans. And so we currently live in one of the most polarized times in the last four decades. And the research that I've done in my lab and many others has found that one of the key things that divide us right now is differences over moral issues. And once people start to see another group as somebody who is, doesn't agree with them on moral issues, they start to hate them. Those groups become evil, they'll do anything to stop them. But it also means that they're willing to tolerate corruption and incompetence in their own group. And so this can be a challenge uh, because it turns out people actually share a lot more beliefs in common than they might otherwise know. And if they have so much disdain for somebody in another group that they're not willing to have those conversations, it's impossible to for them to find grounds for compromise and real change. We live in a diverse society. And this is one of the huge advantages of our society is the extreme diversity of people from all different backgrounds and countries coming together. It turns out that diversity can be really challenging because these people have different cultural traditions, beliefs, languages. But what the research on identity finds is that you can actually harness the benefits of diversity if people feel like they're in it together. If they actually share a higher order shared identity that also respects their backgrounds and differences and harnesses those. The goal of our research is to make people smarter about groups. We want people to understand how groups act like a gravitational force guiding them towards various things, including things that they might not want to do. And so by learning and understanding groups, you can exert an influence by resisting pressures and norms that you don't like, and by cultivating and leading groups to change the norms that they have in themselves.